Blessings to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion. As we bring this first week of this 10th month of October, the fourth quarter of this year, as we bring it to a close, we declare hope thou in God. That's the word today. That's the word for this quarter, this month. We must hope thou in God. That's our song as believers. It's getting difficult. It's getting rough and tough. But our hope in God is going to see us through. It's going to bring us over, up, and out. Everything else has failed, is failing, and cannot stand the test of time. Only God and his word has enduring power, everlasting life, hence our hope in him will keep us from falling and he will present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. He is the only wise God. That's why we hope in him. No one else is wiser than our God. He is the only wise God. He is our savior. And he ought to have glory and honor and majesty and dominion and power bestowed to him forever and ever. That's why we hope in him because of who he is and what he is doing on our behalf. Sometimes hope is hard to find, especially when things are not going well, in sickness, in bereavement, in difficult times. Sometimes hope seems distant, but today it's declaration. What we say comes to pass. Yes, there is power in the tongue. There's life and death in the tongue. And if we declare hope in God, God hears, God responds, and he comes quickly to our refuge and our relief. David in Psalm 42, while fleeing persecution from Absalom, found himself in a hopeless situation. Yes, he was away from the temple. He could not enter to worship in the house of God. That got to him. He was down and out. And sometimes we get like that. Things ain't going as used to. We are in difficult times. People are not treating us fairly family, friends, loved ones, even co-workers. It's difficult. But even in the midst of that, God is there. He's not limited to our situations and our circumstance. And so if we declare, like David did in Psalm 42, hope will live and give life to us. David remembered how God delivered Israel, the people of God who was in bondage. He remembered how God delivered them and he turned around and preached to his soul. Read all of Psalm 42, but I want us to meditate on verse 11. And he asked the question, why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. The word of God to the people of God. And so if you find yourself challenged today in difficult situations, hard times, say to your soul, soul, hope in God and then turn around and praise God because he is the health of your continents, your parents, your luck, everything about you. More importantly, he is your God. 
You see, hope expresses confidence. Yes, you are saying to your whole self, have confidence in God. It expresses expectation, courage, and anticipation. That's what we are doing when we hope in God. We have expectation, we have courage, and we anticipate God to move on our behalf. Let's hope in him today. As we close this week, let's hope in God. Let's believe him. Let's trust him. Father, thank you for this opportunity that we have to hope in you, not to fail, not to give up, not to turn our back, but rather look to you for whence cometh our help. Our help coming from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So I speak to my brother and my sister, other believers today, hope in God. Do not be discouraged. Do not be cast down. Do not be disquieted. Hope in God. As the dead pants for the water brooks, God, we pant after you. I so long for you, to see you, to hold you, to be in your presence. And we know you are everywhere. So right now in our distress, right now in our difficulty, we declare to our soul, hope in God. And thank you, God, that you promised never to leave us nor forsake us. You will be with us to the very end. To this we give praise, honor, and glory as we raise those who lead the nation to so including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families. We raise them to you. May they hope in you. May they not give up, not give in. The pressures are great, but you are greater. So may they trust in you. Father, thank you. Honor you for leaders everywhere today. We give you praise, glory, and thanksgiving. We bless you for the peace of Jerusalem. And we commend families to you everywhere today. Have your way. Let believers hope in you. Let us give praise to you. It is you who called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. And for this we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my family in Christ. Let's hope in God. In Him we have life, and life evermore. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. <laughs>